Welcome or welcome back to Barrio Tales. Today's video will be about the MS-13 and Violent Boys gangs. This tale had begun in a nightclub in Sun Valley on January 15, 2012. A man named Samuel Guerra, who was from the MS-13 gang and at the time 17 years old, had gone to a nightclub with his girlfriend. Sometime during their visit to the nightclub, Samuel and his girlfriend were outside when a man named Jeffrey Martinez approached Samuel's girlfriend and asked for a cigarette. Jeffrey Martinez was from the Violent Boys gang. Jeffrey was not alone. Also at the nightclub was four other Violent Boys gang members. The other highlighted Violent Boys gang member relevant to this tale was a man named Oscar Aguilera. Jeffrey and another Violent Boys gang member had thrown up Violent Boys gang signs at Samuel. Oscar and the other Violent Boys gang members surrounded Samuel. Jeffrey asked Samuel where he was from, meaning what gang was he from. Samuel replied he was from MS-13. After that, Oscar shot Samuel multiple times, killing Samuel Guerra. Guerra's girlfriend told the police that after Guerra fell to the ground, Oscar shot two or three more times. Another Violent Boys gang member who had nothing to do with the murder was interviewed in February 2012. He said he saw Oscar dismantle and destroy a gun. Thereafter, Oscar fled to Mexico. From Mexico, Oscar asked the Violent Boys homie if the heat was away already so he could return from Mexico. Police officers testified as gang experts who testified Oscar had admitted his membership with the Violent Boys gang and that Oscar had several Violent Boys gang related tattoos. Violent Boys gang member Jeffrey Martinez was found not guilty on all charges and was acquitted. Violent Boys gang member Oscar Aguilera was convicted of the first degree murder of rival MS-13 gang member Samuel Guerra with gang and gun enhancements. Oscar Aguilera was sentenced to prison for 50 years to life.